Hello everyone, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on the Nintendo Switch. My name is Sparks, and last time we did the, uh, we found the Crystal Star, and then uh, Peach got abducted by aliens, and we got to play as Bowser for a brief moment. And the fact he has combat moves gets you hopeful that we get to play with him in a better capacity than what we have been. And also, before I start, like, skipping stuff, because this long walk back to Petal, not Petal Meadows, to Brokeport is literally going to be filled with enemies that we've already seen, let's see what Earth Tremor does. Okay, so press A with perfect timing. Okay, but what is the timing? Okay. Boop. And then, boop. Okay. Very picky with this one. Luckily, it literally shows you when you need to press the A button. That one was kind of tricky. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I missed the input. Does it still work? It does. But we have no idea how much damage it actually does. It did four that time. Interesting. I bet if we had it perfect, it would do like tons and tons of damage. But now I used all my special stuff. And... While we're here... I'm pretty sure we have not gotten any new companions or anything, so I'm actually going to... I know, it's very early in the video, but I'm going to um, pause the recording, and I'll meet you back in Rogueport. Oh, run, Mario, run! Real quick, on my way to Rogueport, we finally have enough Star Shards to get Quick Change. Allow your partner to act even after using Swap Partner, which is going to be essential. Because as we get more and more partners, we're going to need more and more moves from them. Yes, thank you. Yeah, and my star piece collection is even bigger now. Yes, maybe we could trade again sometime, eh? And the beauty of trading with star pieces is that it doesn't take any money. Let's go ahead and switch to, um... So how much badge power does it take? Seven? Oh, jeez, we really need to upgrade our badge power. Anyways, I'll meet you when we are back in Rookport. We have finally returned to Rookport, and it looks like Luigi is here. Yes! I really do love Luigi. It's one of my favorite Mario characters. Let's speak to this Goomba first. Hey, Dad. It's that guy again. Have you been powering up your party members? If you don't, they're going to have a rough time as you keep adventuring. Have you been powering them up? You better go to over to Merlin's place. Oh, yeah, that's true. We do need to power up our friends. Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a cool winky dink. Eh, what am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, alright. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I've met some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. They're pretty intense, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. But like I said, it's really a long story, but here it goes. My big brother, that's you, broke out a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home, but then another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh, this is what the letter said. Sir, my name is Crip. I am a cabinet minister in a far-off Waffle Kingdom. I've learned it's been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Eclair. I ask nay beg for your assistance. Hey Mario, it's rude to fall asleep during this story. I like this story. So, wake up. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt responses, sirs. Sincerely, Crip. Or Crepe. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it was something like that. But Mario, that's you, Brogong. It fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teeny bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I administered Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had been kidnapped Princess Claire and had vanished. Pretty big though, some oracles said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land, can you believe it bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the chair worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I find her. Smart, huh? The mystery gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffle Fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit up right up, indicating deep south. 
It was pointing towards Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am, sailing out of Rogueport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably going to be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. Want to hear something else? If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me. I'll be around. So, Luigi gets to play... I mean, Luigi gets to go on this grand waffle adventure, and we're trying to find treasure. I kind of want to do Luigi's adventure. It sounds yummy. Aren't you the person who will upgrade our heroes? Uh, not heroes. <laughs> Let's think you have a different game. Uh, we'll upgrade our companions. To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shrine prints, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power. But I also throw in a new move for free. So which partner would you like me to power up? Uh, I guess Koops. Goomba. Should be able to use multi bonk to attack multiple foes. That's actually pretty useful. Or he'll be able to use shield, shell shield to protect Mario. Let's go with the uh, multi bonk. I want to go more offensive things for now. So you pay me three shine sprites to power up Goombella. Shazubi. Shazubi. Wow, they really, they even improved the partner leveling up animation. That was so cool. Care to power up more? I don't have any, uh, return someday. I don't have any more shine sprites. Also, it's cool that there's shines in this game. Those were aren't those the main collectible in, uh, Sunshine? I'm pretty sure. This is what you have to say now. But Galloping Goombas, you got a crystal star? Magnificent Mario, I knew you could do it. First, you take that... First, you must take that down to the Thousand Year Door demo tar. Cool. I actually want to see if, if the, uh, can, the contact lens has arrived yet. Because... We've been waiting forever for that contact lens. And every single time we go to Rogueport, it's the only thing I can think about. Where is the contact lens? Why can't we buy it? I want to go to the other side of Newport. You know? Hey fellas, sorry about your contact lens has not arrived yet. Can we sneak faster if we go into paper mode? Hee <laughs> hee You'll never suspect that I'm, oh, I'm trying to get over here. Oh, really? Okay, I guess that means we can't do any more quests because I can't get to the other side of anywhere. Good to know. Also, might be a good idea to go to the bad shop when I think about it. We have tons of coins. And with these um, easy to access bad shops, I really don't see any reason why we buy items. Items are cool and all, but look at this lovely stuff. More action commands are hard, but no, not that one. Temporary sleepy. Half the damage Mario takes when he has a 5 HP. Fizz will miss. And I think we already have that badge. Yeah, that bad shop I don't really want to buy from. I think we could just jump down. Okay, cool, so it looks like everything in Rogueport is already done for us. Unless there's some new quest for us that we have not done. But I think you can only do one at a time. And I have not found that person's missing key at all. Need a key. Find this guy. Oh, there are some news. One from Koopa Koop. It's me, Koopa Koop, the wandering hide and seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now. If you find me, I'll give you a member's card for Piante Parlor. You think you could do it, really? Okay, yeah. I know I can only take one at a time. Listen to me from Mayor Koopa. Will someone please come talk to me, please? I'm waiting at the pink house in Paddleboard. Okay, Mayor Koop wants to speak. Help me restock. A shop inventory is low and I need something to help me restock. He's come to the shop in Rogueport Square. Okay, but I don't want to cancel my current quest. Hey, my name is Goomer. Please help me find that guy who put the credit card for me. They're gonna make contact in Rogueport Square. If you want to get out of this, it'll cost you 30 coins. No. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so we can't access that dude, which means we can't do any more quests. Which means, literally, the game is forcing us, which is okay, to progress. Let's go ahead and back down into the tunnels. And head back to the Thousand Year Door. Which I believe is in the down in this area. I might also skip this part too because we've literally already explored this pipe. Also, I want to showcase some. Um, oops. I want to showcase Goombella's new ability. Also, if there's any new areas that we can reach because we can now turn into paper. It's so funny. The paper thin animation. No! Ah, I got distracted in about. See? I'm terrible at, at parkour. Well, this isn't really parkour. I'm terrible at jumping on moving platforms that are super easy and obvious to do. Okay, but that's okay. Roqueport sub level 2. You know, maybe that dude is a Roqueport sub level 2. I think about it. It could be. But I could have sworn I saw them on the other side of that gate. Oh, we can go in here now. Because we could just squeeze on through. I wonder what's hiding down here. Uh, spikes? Um, I think I understand what's going on here. And we need to jump. Okay, let's try again. Jump. Maybe we just need to go really fast. Maybe then we'll make it. I feel like if we stand on the edge of these platforms, we should be fine, right? Hmm. Oh, this is not working out. Okay, we need to use a mushroom. Uh, let's see. That would be gear. Oh, we're actually, uh, we don't have any uh, more item slots. Is there any way to upgrade our item slots? Because I don't think there is. See, that time was super close. What if we jump on top of these spikes? Or maybe there's more to this room. Wait, what if we become paper thin? Can paper thin, like, fit in between spikes? No. But can I fit in between these spikes if I'm paper thin? Okay, I don't quite think we have what we need to do this. Oh wait, maybe? Maybe that does work. Okay, let's test it here. Let's get paper thin and then, like... Oh, but that makes us stuck. Let's go right here and go paper thin. Okay, we actually gotta time it right. Let's go right here and paper, go paper thin. I'm pretty certain this is where the spikes are. Okay, no, that does not work. Well, actually, that area doesn't look like it's stainable, though. Okay, what if we go here and then go paper thin? Almost. I just didn't time it right. I feel like in my head that makes sense. But the issue is Mario's animation to turn paper thin is too slow. No. That's not the solution and we're wasting all our health. But there is other things over here too, so we might as well explore them. We can go in here. Although it doesn't look like there's anything here at all. Hmm. Very interesting. What about right here? Can we like make this piece of paper fall off? Maybe we'll get an ability for that because it doesn't look like we can. Yeah, we'll head to sub level 3, don't worry about it. I was just hoping to find a super, you know? And now we have like zero health too. Oh, we can go here now. Remember there was like a mouse or something that went over here? Interesting. And I thought we were going to like shrink down to the size of the mouse, but looks like we can't do that. Ooh, there's a badge over here. Don't mind if I do, but how do we get it? Can I go through here? Hmm. The game is trying to tease us by showing us stuff that we can't reach. It's very rude. I'm not seeing anything here that would actually help us. Aside from shrinking small, but we don't have that ability. So, like, how dare they allow us to preview it and not actually show us. Okay, let's try out the double bounce move. Boop. Boop. Okay, so it's gonna kind of splatter power. There we go. Normal jump. 
Let's just finish off this dude so we can see that multi jump attack from multi bonk. Continue bonk to the full until you miss the action command. So this is literally just multi jump. Which is gonna be perfect because that's excellent for getting star power. Or any star points. No, star power. That's we just got some star points for defeating the enemy. Anyways, let's head and try and get that thousand year door. Since I've seen that like paper thing like multiple times, there is gotta be a point when we actually get it and use it. Alright, this is where the treasure chest was. So this was the point where we unlocked point. Okay. I will meet you at the thousand year door. And I literally forgot it's literally right here. Cool. I am ready. I have returned one. Okay, Mario, you ready? Hold that crystal star up. So it looks like there is one, two. Oh, I missed it. Seven crystal stars, maybe, or six. Am I terrible, Ganner? No, that's totally seven. Never mind. It looks like there's seven crystal stars. Cool. So where are we heading in Mario's world next? Probably a desert. That's what happened in the last game. Oh wait, I remember. We're not going to a desert. We're going to a spooky forest. Or a snowy forest. Okay, so the next crystal star is a snowy forest. Good to know. The location of the crystal stars has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, check it out, Mario. The location of the next crystal star has appeared. We have no idea where that is. Okay, I guess we gotta show the map to Professor Frankly. Is it just gonna teleport us? It did. Hmm, hmm. I see, I see. Crystal clear. Yeah, great pun. Come on. Where's the next crystal star, Professor? It's a Boogly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in Boggly Woods. Okay. How about those woods? I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe in the town that leads to these woods. By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mari received an email from her. It said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the crystal stars. And in the worst part, she said that she doesn't even know where she is. Oh, Prince of Peach kidnappers is also looking for the crystal stars. What could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be, uh, too many unknowns? Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars in that map. Then we'll head for Boggly Woods to find the next crystal star. Let's do it. Yes, I recommend you do just that. Try to find it before the princess captors. Whatever the ultimate goal is, it can't be good. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop at name first. Lucky researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. I think we actually do need to go to the inn for once. Oh, we got a mail. Dear Mario, thank you for shopping at the Toad Bros. Bizarre, we're writing to let you know that your contact lens your order is now available to pick up at your shop. Assuming you can still see well enough to read this email, please stop by at your earliest convenience. Okay. The contact lens is finally here. Yes! See, I knew if we finally... Uh, I don't want to talk to you. I literally already talked to you like a billion times. Finally, we can actually progress at Rogue Okay. But it looks like, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.